Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. So I've got a 12 inch by 12 inch canvas. You can see here, I have taped off the sides because I want to paint that gold afterwards. But the idea is I'm gonna use my brush to do some brushwork on the base. I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm going to pour some rainbow colors with some black and white over the top and blow it out on a dry canvas. So the flow of the paint isn't gonna be the normal consistency for a Dutch pour because normally with a Dutch pour, you flood your base and then you can blow out the colors on top and that creates the flow. But the base is gonna be dry, but the colors on top will be fluid. So this is an experiment for me. I've got a vision in my mind about what I want to create. So let's see if we can get that vision onto the canvas. So let's see what we can create. So here's my 12 by 12 inch canvas. As you can see, I've taped off the sides. The canvas is dry because I'm going to do some brush work. I'm going to use my brush. It's a freestyle four inch brush by Liquitex. I'm going to put some rainbow colours on here, dip the brush in those rainbow colours and do some brush work on the canvas itself. Here are my rainbow colours. So all of these are just mixed with water, one part paint to one part water. And I've also got some black and white that I'd like to puddle on the canvas and then blow it out. So I'm first of all puddling some paints to prepare my brush to be dipped in that paint and then the brushwork will be literally painting from side to side on the canvas. So this is all about rainbow colours and whatever rainbow colours mean to you. I find that they're happy vibrant colours so that's the kind of piece that I'm creating today. I'm dipping my brush into the paint to ensure that the colours are on both sides of the brush and I'm literally taking that brush and swiping across the canvas and I'm going to do that a couple of times until the full canvas is covered in this paint. So this is the background colour and I'm going to let this dry. You can see how rich those colours are there that were transferred from the brush onto the canvas. So I'm happy with that. Let's let this dry and then we'll continue with the process. Okay, so the canvas is dry but I'm puddling some black and some white onto the base of the canvas before I layer my colours on top. What we need to remember here is this is very much a dry blowout. When we normally do a blowout or a Dutch pour, we're very reliant on the surface of the canvas to be very fluid. That's what really helps the blowout move across that canvas. But there isn't going to be that because this is a dry canvas and we're literally just using the liquid that we're puddling now. So all those colours that you can see. So I've just puddled those into the centre. I'm using my torch to pop any air bubbles and we're going to blow out the first layer. One tip that I would like to share is I hold my hairdryer quite close to that surface area because we don't have the luxury of liquid already being on the canvas to help that puddle move freely across the surface area 
with the blow dryer. Okay, so I'm happy with that first layer. So now what I'm going to do is do my second layer. I'm literally reversing the colors. So I'm working my way backwards. So I started with the violet, then the blue and so on until I reach the red. I'm now going to blow out the puddles, but this time obviously the red is going to be the more prominent colour on top. So I'm just blowing over the layer that we've just blown across the dry canvas. I'm really happy with that. So it's now time to move on to the third and final layer. I'm going to reverse the colours again because I really do want the red to be on top. So when you look down on this piece, you can see the colours of the rainbow in order from red to violet. So I'm going to take you in for a close look now so you can see the wet version. One thing to bear in mind with this piece, we started off with some brushwork and that layer was dry. And then we did two more puddles and blew them out. And then this third puddle is just going to stay as it is. So there's a thicker amount of paint in the middle of the canvas than there is on the outer edges. So what I do is I raise my canvas up onto cups as it dries so air can get underneath the canvas as well as on top and leave the canvas in a room temperature area. So not too cold, not too hot. I want it to dry naturally and that's gonna minimize any cracking. So as soon as this is dry, I'll show you the dried version. And here we go, the dried version. And guys, I'm so proud to report it didn't crack. It dried really well. And I'm really happy with how all those colours have appeared. Uh, I, yeah, I love this. And I'm loving this rainbow series. And I hope you are too. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And please don't forget to give this a like, a thumbs up and a share if you're enjoying this video too. Because other people out there on YouTube that don't yet know about my channel might like this art form and might like to see what I'm also creating so if you do that that helps me reach those people too thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you soon bye